Okay, so this is a video on the Line 6 UX1. I was trying to set up this and I couldn't find anywhere online to give me a good way to set this up. I was having so much trouble the first time I got this. So hopefully this tutorial will help you or anyone else who has one of these set up and get it working relatively well. So this is UX1. First step is to obviously plug it in to your USB port in the back and then plug it into your laptop port. Now with this one, it gives a great selection of where to plug it in. There's your stereo port for inputs. These are all inputs. Then there's the analog outs. If you have uh, stereo speakers, these are actually jackpots. And they're quarter inch jacks. At the front, there's the input of a mic, instrument, and your headphones. This takes, your instrument takes a quarter inch jack, and the input for the mic takes one of the three pronged XLRs. Okay, so now comes the part where you have your UX1 plugged into your laptop. Firstly, it depends what DAW you use. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's straightforward and similar in some ways. Uh, this is Ableton Live 8. And what you do is go into Options, Preference, and you go to Driver Type. And it'll bring up No Audio, MX, MME, DirectX, and ASIO. Click the ASIO. Then under the Audio Device, just select the UX1. Now, don't stop there because Yes, it's using your interface, but if you go to hardware setup, it'll show all this. You can change the bitrate. You can change the bitrate depth. You can obviously go into buffer size, blah, blah, blah. I didn't change any of those settings. I find that what it records is already decent in default. So you can go to input and recordings and then drop down the input source. Mic 1 is for the mic input, and instrument is for the instrument input. Then you can choose instrument and mic 1. When it goes to line 1, line 2, line stereo, these are the inputs I was talking about earlier, the two line inputs, and then there's the monitor in stereo. These can be used for... Line 1 and line 2 can be used for keyboards, anything like that. And the line stereo in is for something maybe like uh, a PA system going into it uh, or a phone going into it. Uh, so you can play music into that way uh, for when you want to listen to something and record. So it's, it's separating the audio. So you'll listen to it, but it doesn't record it. So click whatever you like. Mine's mic one. And then click OK and X out of this. Now, the problem I had when I first got this is that when I was wearing my headphones, uh, I could only hear one side and I couldn't find out for the life of me why. So what solved this was you go down here onto your speaker, right click it, and you can bring up your recording devices or playback devices. Go into playback devices, And it'll bring up the sound menu. See here, it says line six UX1 speakers. So you click on that and then set it as the default and OK. So this sets your UX1 as your sound card. And that means that you will hear from both sides, whether you're using monitors, you can hear left and right or headphones left and right. So it's using your sound and sending it through the UX1 as a sound device. So there you have it. That's how you set up a UX1 Line 6 interface. Remember, if you liked the video, click like, subscribe. Hope you found something useful, something handy, something you didn't know. And tune in next time to see what video I'll have up next.